Hey guys, good morning. It is 8.45 on Wednesday, August 1st. I am wearing these transition lenses. I guess they have started to turn dark. They were so, like they were clear before. You can kind of still see my eyes through it. I got them yesterday at the transition lens event and I'm really obsessed with them. So I'm gonna bring you out, bring you along on a vlog today because that was one of like the other most requested videos when I did that IG story question. I am heading downtown. There's a new Airbnb unit that we are about to set up. So I thought that would be fun for you guys to see what it looks like before and then what it looks like after if we can get it done today. Um, and then I'm going grocery shopping for about like a week, a week and a half worth of food. So hopefully I can capture that. It's not gonna be like anything super fun, but let's see. All right, I made it to the unit. So the thing with Toronto condos, if you've never been there, it is like so hard to find the parking spot, especially like this building, the parking lot's like on a different street. So might have spent the last 20 to 30 minutes trying to find out where to park, but I'm here. So this is the unit that we are about to put up. So this is like a huge entryway closet. It has laundry en suite. And then it is a studio. So there isn't any other rooms. There aren't any other rooms. You got your kitchen. You got a nice big balcony. And then you can see we have a couple boxes here already. Probably gonna be putting the bed right there. TV is gonna go there. Couch, probably another table here, just so that you can have like a breakfast nook. But yeah, there isn't too much to show right now. As you can see, it's pretty empty. Um, I am gonna start building those Ikea boxes that you just saw and yeah, I will show you the progress. Hopefully we'll have it mostly done today um, just because I'm gone for 10 days and then it'll be late. <laughs> Thursday morning so I am leaving tonight to go to the cottage. I filmed one video already so that's gonna be up in a couple of hours and then I'm gonna finish this one up today. So I thought I'd throw in my morning routine into the vlog because a lot of you have been asking. This is what I look like when I just wake up. I'm pretty pale right now because I haven't seen the sun because I've been working so much. So right now I am gonna go brush my teeth. You don't need a ghost. You don't need to see that but I'll be right back. Okay, I had to pull my hair back because I wash my face and brush my teeth. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. So this is my face after I've washed it with the Nivea Hydra Boost Cleanser. I love this one, especially in the morning just because it's a lighter, it's like a clear gel and it just like really, really like refreshes my face. Like after a summer night, I think I do tend to sweat at night. So like my face needs, definitely needs to be washed. So next I do my toner. I grab one of these guys. Um, I just use up my Aven toner that you guys probably usually see me using. And so I went back to my Kiehl's Ultra Toner, Ultra Facial Toner. I went back to this one because like, my face, I tried a cream that's like an anti-aging cream and I think it's a little bit too strong for my face. So it actually um, like gave me red dots everywhere and like I know that no matter what, if I use Kiehl's again, it, like everything will settle down. So I've been using it for three days, like not even three days, like two days and everything is basically gone. Like I had red dots all here and like all here, you can kind of see it faintly and it's already gone because all this Kiehl stuff has calmed my face. I also picked up the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer with SPF 30. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is this bottle because I, like, it, you never know how much is gonna come out. Okay. 
so while I wait for my product to sink in, I'm just gonna comb my hair. I use a bristle brush, um, so it kind of helps me cut all the dead hairs that are loose or that came loose during the night. So I need to clean it again. So the brush, like I've had this brush for years and that's what happens when you find a good bristle brush. You can just like use it for years. You just have to clean out the hair that gets stuck inside. And the good thing about a bristle brush is that it really like, it helps spread out your natural hair oil. So it's not just like hurting your scalp, it actually massages it too. And yes, I think I do need, I will be washing my hair when I come home from all the stuff I need to do today. So I do fluff it up <laughs> after I comb it just because um, it tends to get really, really bogged down. Okay. So it just adds a little volume to the top of my hair after I combed it. Because it's going to be quite a short, busy day, I'm just going to do my brows and a little bronzer, which is what I normally do. So, so the brow definer, my Anastasia, nothing too new. I've, I've tried other brow products, it's still my favorite. my face with a little bit Laura Mercier candle light glow with a big powder brush just in a big three oh, back of my hair just to give myself a little bit of color There you go, that's my face for the day. And then after I just go through with the clear brow gel, I don't put it on before the, uh, I don't put it on before my eyebrow, my bronzer just because the brush will mess up the brows after I set them. So I go backwards so that I coat all the hairs. And then really slowly go through them. Cause I like my brows bushy. All right, there you go. This is my very typical morning routine. Usually when I'm running late, this is what I do. Um, three makeup products. And what did I do? I used three skincare products. So like the face wash, <laughs> the toner and cream with SPF. And then I put my makeup on top and we're good to go. So now I'm gonna go change and I will bring you, cause I need to go home to find my bathing suits. <laughs> I thought they were here, so I'm kind of freaking out. I'm running out of time. so. I'm gonna go home and grab my bathing suits, um, grab like a little backpack so that I can bring it on the boat with me. And then I need to go to Scarborough to pick up some like staging stuff that I had left in the house that I staged, oopsies. Um, and then going downtown to finish the Airbnb. The mattress is still not there, but I'm gonna take photos so you can kind of see the finished product and then come home, edit this video, uh, finish packing. I need to download some books on a Kindle. So let's get going. Okay, so we are down to the crunch. It's 2.30. I just unpacked my duffel so I could show you what I packed and I need to add some things in there and take some things out because it's fuller than I thought it would be. So I am going to the cottage, so I'm bringing like all my sweats and cozies. I showered, so my hair is really wet if you were wondering why it looks so weird. Bringing two pairs, a light pair and a darker, light pair, light pair and a thicker pair. My Nikes and a Billabong pair. I do, I should actually roll these, eh? And then next I'm bringing like basically this pajama cardigan. It's from Zara, but it is so, so soft. Wearing a baby's blanket. 
The hard thing is like, I don't know if it's gonna be super hot or super cold because the weather can change so quickly. I'm gonna bring a, I'm bringing this Aritzia hoodie. So all like the bulky items are going on the bottom. I also have this really, really thin AKG hoodie that I'm gonna bring as well because it will be for like on the boat if it's a hot day, but I still wanna make sure I'm warm if it gets a little bit cold while we're out there. And then of course, my trusty Gap sweater, a thicker, I love how thick knit it is. And if like I wanna take some photos, um, this texture will be really nice. Okay, so this is like already half of my bag, which is super worrisome for me. I also am gonna wear this Teddy one. You have asked me before where it was from. It's from Oakenfort. They restocked it in the fall, winter, summer now, so they probably don't have it, but I kind of have an inkling they're gonna bring it back. Next is shorts. I have a pair of linen Aritzia ones that are like basically PJs. Um, I'm bringing three pairs of denim, so these Citizen ones. Just because I'm there for 10 days, like I don't know if my jean shorts are gonna get dirty and I don't really have a chance to wash them. Bringing the mom top shop black shorts. Basically anything that is super, super like loose, but still not completely like wearing PJs. And then now we are moving on to my tanks. I have this like muscle tank basically from Zara. I haven't worn it yet. We'll see how it goes. And also, just my Gap tank. And then also this guy that you've seen in a haul before. Just super, super loose and light. Because, I mean, the only time I'll be wearing tanks instead of like a bathing suit is probably, I don't know, like I barely do that, so I'm only bringing two. I am bringing a bunch of t-shirts though. Just like a linen Clamonico tee. I'm bringing an AKG box tee or an essentials white tee that I'm bringing. Just washed it in time because I really need to bring that. I love that. Another AKG white tee. And then I have all of my gray Gap PJs here that I'm going to put at the very top because we probably won't get there till late tonight and I want like my PJs at the very top and easily accessible. And then we have a bunch of my undies, which you don't need to see. Um, I'm bringing like a lot of bralettes and sports bras. I like don't really need anything else at the cottage right now. I have two swims, like one set of swimsuits right now. The rest are in the wash. Hoping they'll finish in time. And then I got two beauty bags just because I couldn't fit it all in one. Um, I have all my Kiel stuff that I just got, like the SPF that I showed you this morning. Basically everything that I showed you from my morning routine, plus um, like my nighttime cream and face wash. That's not the Neutrogena one. But yeah. And then I will be bringing Birkenstocks and my flip flops are on the side here. On the side, I'm also bringing like my Sage Pocket emergency kit. And I think that's it. Everything's actually gonna fit now that I took out a little bit and repacked it, which is exciting. I have my camera um, charger because I'll bring you along. I'm gonna try to do the cottage vlog if it doesn't get too boring. I'm not gonna be doing much, so we'll see. I also brought like two books, the Crazy Rich Asians, and then the meditation book that I've been trying to read for a while, and then a Kindle with a bunch of other random books downloaded. So I'll probably be reading a lot up there. But yeah, did you like my very, very quick paced packing? Um, I really hope that's all I need. I might bring some socks too, but other than that, that's it. Anyways, I really gotta focus on finishing everything, editing this, and scheduling it for next Thursday. So I will say bye for now. If you like this video, leave me a like and a subscribe, and I will see you all next time.